bubble. Alright, so Marciana. <laughs> yeah, so we're in health and environment. It's currently 920. Oh okay. <laughs> gosh. I'm making a vlog. Be in the line for me. Yeah. Very true. Right there. I swim every day. Every day. Yeah, I I mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you should. As you should. All the way. So yeah, I have a couple more holes to go. <laughs> That's right. I recommend it. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. I have it on my laptop here and it's working on this. I tell you, I saw a few people asking me about it like last week. Yeah, but my day um, will finish 7 o'clock tonight. I have my last tutorial. Yeah, have a long day. Four. Mm -hmm. That's not good enough. That is horrible. I swear. We're, we're hypocrites. We're going to be telling people to get eight hours and we barely get in three. But yeah. It's normally two to six for me. Two to six, two to six. Yeah. Same. Oh, my boy just crashed. Let's just download the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, so we're pretty much heading to the next class. <laughs> yeah, it's currently... I mean, nine minutes past ten. So, yeah. That's E3. And just like that, no class. No class. No class. Clinicals, they can't show up. They can't never show up. Never. Anytime you see a teacher from clinicals book a session, it's, it's not going to Mr. Gill is not coming either. He's yeah. not. Only yeah. neurosurgeon for us. He's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm going back on house. I'm going to read some neuroanatomy. Not another clinical class cancelled. Yeah, it happened all the last semester as well. Like, we didn't have a single class for clinical. Uh, Your camera is very close. Oh, yeah, thank you. Samsung. Bye, Matthew's vlog. <laughs> all right, so we're heading back on front. All right, so I'm taking you into my little workspace. Alright, so as you see, my, my bed is quite messy. Oh yeah, I was just working on a nomination form for my students' Allen Association. Um, I'm RO for JASAC, returning officer. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to get stuff together for tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a an AGM coming up. Annual general meeting. All right, so that aspect of the timetable is out of the way. I actually had a class scheduled for two hours here, but as you saw in the previous videos, um, the lecture could make it. So this seems like free period, right? I can do anything I want, don't it? No, find something to do. All right, midbrain. I am struggling with. Um, Nero, ignore the the, the um the, the the drugs in the background. <laughs> yeah, those are something there. Some supplements. Um, midbrain. Um, neuroanatomy. So yeah, I'm going to tune into an engineering video for a hour and get some work done. Perfect. But yeah, I have a full day ahead of me. Um, class, self study. Um, da, 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 da. So I'm just going to work at this. Read, eat. Oh, that's a comb. Oops. That shouldn't be there. 
greed, eat, and chill. Yeah. Okay. So last thing I want you guys to remember here when it comes to kind of just because sometimes they can ask this in exam questions. If I take the cross Okay, so yeah, I have a class at one o'clock. Well one ten. As they heard in the background, the beep, de -de 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 -de. um that's my Pomodoro timer, so I do twenty five minutes of studying, five minutes break. Alright, so I made some notes on midbrain. Let me hide my interface so you guys don't, you know, fast in my business. Alright, so here we are, midbrain, midbrain. So what I did basically was you know copy and paste some aspects of the Snell's Neuroanatomy book because that's the recommended text. Everyone recommends Snell's. Even I find that the book is I don't know the interface the, the text is just not my style so I had to copy and paste it and I also pasted like the ninja nerd notes as well so I can make a reference to both in the book they had these two pictures far away from each other so I had to you know put them together and you know make the reading you know more enjoyable so yeah I'm going to do that in about 20 minutes All right so I watched the Ninja Nerd video but I still needed to read Snell's because at the end of the day I need to know the information well so yeah it's gonna take me a while so wish me luck all right it's currently 1 13 i'm very late for class i have a physiology lecture um so i have to walk across the campus Alright, so I'm finished medical subjects or medical courses for the day. Uh, just had a physiology course. Uh, so I'm done. The time is currently 2.28. So I'll, I'll stop and I'll talk with my classmates a little bit. So apparently I found out that I have a document, a lab document due this weekend like a very thick booklet and I haven't started so I'm going to have to add that to the agenda that's the thing with medicine you know like random stuff just pop up it's like spontaneous work you could be sleeping you get an email that a class change you could be sleeping you get an email that something that I got a million years ago and you forgot about it's due tomorrow you know but it's just how you're able to adjust and cope, right? It's just candid, candid talk. I'm back in my room. Oops, let me close my cupboard. Yeah, you just have to be able to, to cope and to adjust and be willing to you know make adjustments to the timetable um what i find helps okay let me set up my camera properly what i find that helps is you know having a, a calendar and having a table with stuff that uh, you have to get done in the day so right now i use google calendar to manage my time and I also use Notion to manage like my activities and assignments, stuff I have to do throughout the day, throughout the week. All right? So, 2.30 just came up and my alarm says that I have to review opioids and analgesics, but I have to switch that because some stuff popped up. So yeah a typical day in the life of a med student
But yes, I forgot to mention that I have a tutorial later on. Um, I'm currently doing Caribbean Civilization. It's a foundation course. So, yeah, it's not a medical course. It's a foundation. So you have like people from different faculties um, doing this course. Of course, my timetable is very rigid in terms of having classes from 8 to 4, 8 to 5 um, on some days so I had to put my tutorial late at night so today um, I won't be finished classes until 7 o'clock so yeah it's the life I live but yeah just pray for me as I try to get through this day So it is currently eight minutes to six o'clock. I have a class um, at six, well, a tutorial for the course Caribbean Civilization. Uh, so I'm actually on my way at the moment. If you look in my eyes, you realize my eyes are a bit red. Um, and it's a golden hour so yeah i got some reading done but most importantly i got some rest because i was actually very tired started the reading and nothing wasn't sticking so i use a double negative nothing sticked nothing was sticking right <sighs> so got some sleep my brain is fresh just hope I remember the content from the lecture so I could answer the tutorial questions effectively. But yeah, my last session for the day, 6 to 7, and I'll be a free man. So I'm back. So that was my last class for the day. So I just had Caribbean civilization and we discussed the topic of diversity in the Caribbean in the 16th and 17th century. So we explored um, key concepts such as colonialism, bullionism, mercantilism, the Renaissance, um, reconquest, you know, back in Spain, had the Moors people from Northern Africa who actually conquered Spain and was running Spain for quite a bit of time you know look it up like you had back in the day I would say black people but the lecturer said that it was a, a mixture of black and fair skinned people but just interesting to see that you know black Muslims actually had power back in the day but you know associating power with race normally the first thing that comes to mind is colonialism and the impact of white people but yeah today was a very interesting lecture you know you could see how our economy like the the path it took to agriculture how it was shaped by by um colonialism and agriculture and how the sugarcane the sugarcane industry you know left us high and dry basically so we are now considered small island developing states um at this point in time we shouldn't be developing based on the amount of wealth generated um during you know slavery slavery days we shouldn't be developing we should actually have all this wealth to ourselves but you know exploitation by the Spaniards and the French and the the British people but yeah I have a really good tutorial today for Caribbean civilization I'm now back home so as with a regular day last last um, session for the day I will chill for a hour 
you know you have to prioritize mental health you can't just go 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 like that you need to give yourself time to you know to settle and to recalibrate so that is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to chill for a hour and then i'm going to jump right back into some work and you'll see the night flow okay so it's currently let's see what time is it focus focus okay about three minutes to eight yeah three minutes to eight so right i had i gave myself my, myself time to chill after that tutorial so now i'm embarking on a full night of study and preparations and whatnot Alright, as you can see I haven't planned for the next day as yet or even Friday so I'm, I might do that later in the day in the morning but yeah um, basically the overview so I'm going to do female external genitalia I'm using board boards and beyond I'm doing motor tracks um, that's physiology, so I might I might use Constanza to read for that. Tomorrow I have a a um, intro to medical practice course, so I'm I'm doing the respiratory system, so I'm going to review that as well. Um, also going to read over the lecture we did today for physiology. I think it's more. Also, some related to motor tracks, um, and the same JASAC AGM presentation. I should have finished this on Sunday, but my Sunday was quite hectic. So yeah, that, and I also have a workbook to work on. I think it's due on Friday, but I'm nowhere near close. So. <laughs> I have to put in some holes, you know. Wait, okay, that's the overview of my night, and I'll take you along with me as I do each task. All right, so. Hey guys, alright, so I'm actually on a Pomodoro break, but I just decided to just run it through, you know, because, Hi there, my name's Andrew. The yeah, I'm watching respiratory so examination, I'm sure doing that in introduction to medical practice tomorrow, nice to meet you, so, been asked to examine your chest. Yeah. Looking. sorry about that, yeah, I'm doing that tomorrow, I need to review cardiovascular as well, but yeah, about my stethoscope, um my practice on my bag pretend my bag is a patient talk to myself like a mad person and pretend that the bag is you know communicating with me yeah so i had a lecture in 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 first year i talk about burning the the night oil sleep is a concept hey 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 come on now listen to me listen let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Sleep is important. Get to sleep, right? We medical students, future doctors, and even current doctors are the biggest hypocrites, right? We are the biggest hypocrites. We're telling people to get eight hours sleep and we're barely getting three, four, two hours. That is wrong. It is wrong. The system, the system, the system is not right. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I am getting my rest. I know I average at least four hours of sleep at night. I've been going to bed like two, two thirty. I have to wake up six o'clock for classes. But tonight, like how the AGM thing has been postponed till Monday or Tuesday, I am going to my bed around twelve thirty or one. That's pretty early. That's pretty early. So, but people get to sleep, please. If you can hit six hours hit six hours at least eight hours is recommended but six hours please don't be like us don't get four hours four hours sleep on a consistent basis is not healthy 
as you can see i'm taking all sort of supplements omega-3 vitamin c i'm taking a multivitamin i'm even taking vitamin d vitamin d i'm taking and of course my, my own medication my prescription medication but yeah get to sleep people be healthy be healthy that's word from matthew just come i'm not a doctor yet and i shouldn't be giving up medical advice yet but just take my word for it get to sleep people and stay healthy because this four hour thing cramming uh it's not worth it trust me it's messing me up it's actually messing me up like health wise I, I, I feel lousy i feel lousy and i'm doing the best i can like eight to seven classes that's no joke right that is no joke so people just take my word for it if you can get sleep take your sleep yeah last thing for the night um just working on this workbook it's currently 12.08 a.m i'm going to my bed at 12.30 <clears throat> and I'm waking up at 6 I'm trying to get a better sleep cycle going because um, these past nights I haven't really been getting much sleep but thanks for tuning into my video hope you enjoyed a very unfiltered a very candid experience not like other youtubers that paint the, per the picture of, of, of perfection my system is by no means perfect and I'm still working on adjusting my system but yeah this is how I'm doing it at the moment um, feel free to interact with me just drop a comment if you have something to say I will I would really appreciate your interaction and yeah thanks for tuning in